Hi friends. We're gonna do a little uh, chat with me while I get ready for the day because Jason and I get to go on a little day date today and um, it's gonna be really fun. So just thought I would get ready with you and catch you up on life and what we're gonna go do. Chelsea is homesick today. She had a fever of 100.6 this morning. She did have a fever last night. We just, she just went to bed. We didn't like bother to like find out what the temperature was. Uh, she's pretty miserable this morning. Um, we're not gonna be leaving until this afternoon uh, and within maybe an hour of us being gone, uh, Kaylee and Abby and Chill Ashley will be home and they can make sure she's okay, but neighbors and grandpa, they can come and help her, but she's just asleep in bed. A little update about her. Everyone else is at school. Kaylee is doing good in PT. She likes the improvement that she's had. She hasn't worn the brace around the house very much lately, which is kind of nice. Anyway, she's doing PT twice a week and then does her exercises. I went to the gym and did upper arms the other day. So that's kind of nice. And Abby is enjoying her braces as much as you can enjoy the pain of getting braces. And she's kind of adjusting to that, very much in charge of what she eats and makes sure she can chew it. <laughs> Uh, she does eat more often because it doesn't fill her up. So yesterday was Sunday and I saw her in the kitchen quite a bit. <laughs> and she's just constantly making food and eating applesauce and whatnot. She's doing pretty good. And Ashley is doing fine. She's going to school today and she has her cheer, which she's very excited about. And I think she's doing pretty good. Um, we, Jason and I, are going on a little date today. He asked me out on a date about a week and a half ago. Um, turns out it's not actually a date. <laughs> Our staff um, is doing a team building event today. In fact, they're out right now. Yeah, our three employees are out right now. Um, I think they're gonna go get lunch in an hour as a threesome and kinda talk about how they can be better employees. This is all being led by our one employee um, and her name is Samantha and she has just been excellent since she came back to work for us. And then we are gonna meet up with them at the Chihuly Gardens. Um, it is the glass blowing um, exhibit thing in Seattle. It's literally right next to the Space Needle. I've only looked at it from the w windows. Like I've never been able to go inside. So we're gonna go and do a tour of that museum and we have another reservation and it's gonna be really, really fun. I'm excited because I've just never done anything like that before. Um, but we're also right next to the Space Needle. So Jason and I thought we would go down a little early and kind of show you the Space Needle. We haven't done that since my mom and dad came to visit last, which was years and years ago. Um, they used to bring grandkids to come and get outside their little bubble and to travel and to see what the world looks like outside of our little small town. So they just haven't done that for a long time. And, uh, it'd be weird to be down there without her. She's not a huge fan of height, so she never went up into the Space Needle. And then when the Great Wheel was created down in, like further in Seattle, down on the pier, we started doing the Great Wheel instead of the Space Needle when the kids would come, when my nieces and nephews would come. And so we stopped going up the Space Needle. So I haven't even done that for years as well. But we're not gonna go up the Space, space, space Needle. We'll just show it to you. Anywho, that's what we're gonna do today. Sorry, it's hard to like with you guys and look in this mirror to do my makeup, but that's what we're gonna do. And then I think we're gonna get late lunch, early dinner afterward as a group. Um, the funny thing is our employee planned all this and asked Jason if it was okay to do as a company like a team building thing. Um, and he was like, yeah, yeah, um, I'm paying for it. And she's like, no, 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 you don't have to pay for this. I wanna like just go and get closer to our staff. And he's like, no, that's called a team meeting. Like I need to pay for that. And if I'm paying for it, I'd like to come <laughs> and be a band. I might as well bring Dana. So I get to go. So I am gonna finish up here. My battery is flashing. And I don't wanna yell down to Jason. I'm gonna finish and then I'll be right back. I am just trying to blend. It's proving difficult and the battery is flashing. It's flashing, it's flashing. All right, Jason brought me a battery. So I can finish getting my hair done. It's kind of held up, but I know by tonight it's gonna be in a ponytail. I am like now scared to use dry shampoo because I've heard some of the brands are getting recalled and I just don't wanna mess with it. So we've got a little bit of a greasy situation going on up there. So I'm just gonna be cute to start with and then we'll pull it back. And then I've gotta get my steps in tonight after we get back and I'll edit a video while I work out. So 
It's a stitch with day three hair. So anyway, we're gonna have a fun day. Um, we're just kind of puttering around here. I really wanna vacuum the whole house, but with Chelsea asleep, I can't really do that. Um, but otherwise, I have not decorated for Christmas just because this week I am like packed full with stuff every single day slash night. I'm hosting an event here Thursday night, but I'm going to things all day Wednesday. So it's like I can't um, pull it all out tomorrow and have it all up in time. Anyway, so I haven't done Christmas yet. Even though I've been talking about wanting to, I just haven't done it. I've run out of time. Um, but I don't mind having my hair straight, but it doesn't work out for work. I don't know how people like work out and then have like their hair look like this. Like my hair is sweaty. Like my head is sweaty. There's no way, there's no saving it. And like I said, I, I'm not like a huge fan of dry shampoo anymore. I want cancer. So I just do my twisties and you guys just get lucky on the weekends if I film and I have my hair done. <laughs> so we're heading out. Jason says I look sexy in Tesla, so I think I need to have one of my own. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> I'm kidding. I can't have one now because I have kids to, you know, you want the white Popple. interiors. So. I want white on white, and I want the third row, just because I eventually will have grandkids down the line, and I want to be able to like shuttle them around too. So, gotta have some extra seats in there. <laughs> we're nowhere clear, close to getting one. Don't worry about it, folks. Uh, anyway, we're headed out. We have a few stops to make before we go. Which is the post office. Tire our tires so our car his car has been down at um, the tire place for the weekend and they let us know on Saturday that it does in fact need new tire so it needs all four new tires and they're run flat tires and they don't carry those in stock so we're gonna run down there really quick um, and tell them to order them well I'm gonna ask them what their option is because I went on tirerack.com and I looked up what's compatible with the car and I just want to see if we can save money ordering it cool or better yeah just look at the options so I'll ask them because we do need to get that tire or that car back um, it's fine today and probably fine tomorrow but it's starting to get tricky as Kaylee I need her help coming up here to shuttle people around yeah. when I'm busy so it's been helpful to have a third car but we There's no point having this. teenagers that can drive unless they yep. can drive. They gotta be a chauffeur for me. <laughs> so. Told me more than once to show you my intention. My brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. You've got to know that I, I ain't a person who understands all the clockwork of our romance. If you're gonna be moving on solo Wait a second cause they're playing the best song I'll be there if you reach out to me Okay, we made it to Seattle we got the Space Needle right there. Um, I haven't been feeling well in the car, so we're trying to find a bathroom, and then we'll give you more of a view of the Space Needle. We have about a half hour before our tour. You might tour. need to go there early, so I'm not trying to get the tickets. Yeah, we're trying to find the tickets on his on his phone. Um, but Space Needle and bathroom, and then the Chihuly Garden, which is right over here. All right, feeling a little bit better. <laughs> uh, here is the. Seattle Center fountain that's pretty famous. I actually have never been over to this fountain. I don't know why, I've just never come over here. Uh, there's a cute little playground back there I'll show you when we leave that I used to bring the kids down to. We'd get a bunch of us moms and um, carpool and meet all at the exact same time and stay the same length of time, have picnics. Um, it was pretty fun. Um, I think it actually is like right here, Jace. 
Up there? The armory? Yeah, we go. We're just trying to find it. Up here and around. So like right here, we gotta go up and around. So okay. Right on the other side. Okay. This is gonna be fun, right? Hopefully. Why I just, hopefully? Well, I just couldn't get the tickets printed off. Because oh. I forgot to do that because I thought I could do it on my phone. But then I realized that my Microsoft updated the things and so now it doesn't work on my phone. So we got to go to the ticket counter and hopefully we can get our tickets. Might be an interesting team building experience if we don't actually get to get in. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Chelsea about coming here today and I told her I'd show her some pictures and if she's interested in coming back it's only 20 bucks for kids to get in uh, so I might bring her back or see if her and Ashley want to come for a little date night or something because she would totally dig. I think a special night with just Chelsea would be cool. It would. I think she would really appreciate it. I think Ashley would get a little bored. Yeah I would. I don't know. Actually. Chelsea's really into art and different forms of art so I could see her like really enjoying this but it's been fun to like hang out with the staff and um, they were all really into it too. So we're going to go and get some lunch with everyone and then we'll probably just head back home, right? Oh no, we're going to go to the store. Are we going to go to the store? I don't think we need to go to the store. Do you want to show them the Christmas decorations or do you want to just send me some photos, videos tomorrow uh -oh. when you're at the store? However you want to do it. If we, if we feel like we have the time, we could go up there. It's just, wait, what's today? Monday, it could be traffic. We're gonna be, we're gonna start running. Into we're gonna that. need to go home. Yeah, we need to go home. <laughs> but we'll have to show you another day uh, the decorations that we have at the store. And if he does it on a day he's there, he'll be able to show you during the daylight, and then again at night when everything is lit up, because he's put lights up as well. All right, we came up to Northgate, north of Seattle. We're going to a place called Stanford. 
Jeez, what are you doing? I didn't do that. You didn't do that? Why did it beep at us? Oh, the car behind us. <laughs> what car? They honked at us? Why? Oh, is it them? Oh, it's our staff. I was like, well, who's honking? Stanford's is what it's called. We'll see if I'm getting food. I'm hungry. Okay, we, I didn't film at all while we were getting dinner. I wanted to make sure that they had their privacy. Uh, you got like beef, but it wasn't Some like it was steak. Some little beef tips but, like yeah. tenderloin tips or something like that with mushrooms. It was good. Yeah, and then uh, we got some crab cakes because we it's wanted to determine whether these crab cakes are better than Duke's in Maui. And I think I it was think a close the second. The atmosphere has a lot to do with how things taste. Yes, sometimes. so close second and I got fish and chips. It's just hard to not have my normal. But I was gonna get the steak, and I'm glad I didn't because it was just nice to have two different meals. But we are gonna head home. I feel like we had a very fun day. And it I, was, Chihuly was pretty amazing. It was, it was really cool. But also like making sure your employees are happy goes a very long way. And we've gone well, out with- Oh crap, how do I get, oh no, I go right. Um, we've it's, recognized like- Samantha's our manager. Yes. She's the one that really organized this and got it going. Yeah. So it's she's the one that's made. So now we've gone out. Magic like happen. we're starting to like go out like once a month. We're gonna go out again for Christmas next month. I think it's good. It's good like atmosphere and and you just get to relax and kind of get to know each other and I don't know. It's, it's quite fun. It fun. So we're all already kind of thinking of ideas or what we get to go do for the holidays and. Uh, um, but we're gonna end that with you guys. We're gonna go home and take care of our kids and fight traffic on our way home. Um, they're all at home. They're home from school, hanging out. Chelsea feels better. I think she's just trying to get her appetite back um, and just gonna rest Whoa. the rest of the night. Whoa. And <laughs> we're gonna put the camera away, fight traffic through Seattle, and we will see you guys next time. Even if the sky's falling down. This is where my heart is Oh, you know it's true No matter where I go I'm coming home to you